Hi, I'm Brian Cranston, and I'm a geek. We're here at Comic Con for Super Mansion. Why don't you let us know what you do on the show? Uh, I do the voice of Black Saturn. He is a sort of a rageaholic millennial Batman analog, um, and I think he's just his job is just letting people down a lot um, <laughs> and being self-obsessed. Perfect. Uh, I play the part of Cooch, who's just a trashy cat. <laughs> I, like, I like it. That's all you need. That's right? all I'm going to say. <laughs> what about you, Tom? What are you doing on this one? Uh, I'm a writer, producer, and the voice of Brad, who is a uh, slovenly drug addict. <laughs> nice. So, Tom, we interview every year for Robot Chicken. So, how is this different instead of parroting other people's pro properties? Sorry, mm -hmm. couldn't think of the word. <laughs> you got to create your own. How, how is the process different for you? Um, well, luckily, I didn't have to create any of these guys. Zeb Wells did all the work, um, and Matt Senreich, and the two of them created the show. And I got to just coast in, write one episode, do this dumb voice. Uh, I'm sort of living the dream. <laughs> so you're kind of you kind of phoning it in. You're you're, yeah. you're living the pretty people life. Yeah. So you, so 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 you're strictly really just voice acting, and you wrote an episode. Um, well, I the the episode I wrote, I made sure that my character had a hero's journey, um, <laughs> with a lot of tears, a lot of laughter. Uh, we all had to stretch a lot our, our acting abilities to get through that one. Now, how insufferable was he during that episode that he wrote that you had to voice act? Was he just a taskmaster on you guys? Like, I wrote this, you say it right. Well, we didn't get to say anything because it was no, all his I don't lines. think there were any other character so, lines in yeah. that one. Yeah, it I was all interpretive dance. Yeah, yeah. And monologue. Uh, I think Cooch at one point says, Brad, you're so brave. Yeah, you're so brave. Now, this, this, is, totally out of this is a pretty crazy premise. Um, how was your initial reaction when they came to you with this premise? I mean, the scripts are that good that they're yeah. just like, there's no reaction. It's just like, this needs to make, this needs to happen, right? So, yeah. they're, they're... They're just so funny. They yeah. were so funny. Yeah. yeah. It's, now, oh, it's really rare that you read scripts and you laugh out loud throughout the entire thing. Yeah. So. so, you're kind of a Batman archetype. Yeah. What What is your archetype? Are you just something totally just out there? I'm totally out there. I think she started off of Catwoman just because she's a cat, but she ain't Catwoman. <laughs> she's like... <laughs> She was born from the mud and like, she's something else. The mud from like deep Kentucky roots. Whoa. Yeah. That's, that's deep. Yeah. What about you, Tom? What is your, is your character based on anything or is it just something out of your crazy mind? Uh, I think he's sort of like the Hulk and the Thing and he's like every big dumb character except that he's actually got a lot of pathos. Um, he's depressed all the time. He's a gambling addict. He's sort of <laughs> addicted to everything. He sounds like a real hero. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and that's sort of the point of the show is like, what, here's a bunch of characters who really aren't good heroes, but somehow when they're all together, they manage to save the day. Hey, at Comic Con with Matt and Zeb, the mad geniuses behind Super Mansion. So why don't you guys tell us about this crazy show? Well, it's about an over-the-hill superhero played by Brian Cranston who has to live in a mansion with a team of younger, crazier, some of them dumber superheroes than he is. And it's about his frustrations dealing with the domestic issues that come up. Nice. Now, is this different? You know, Robot Chicken, you do a lot of parodies of other shows. And this is kind of wholly new created characters. Now, are they based off of existing characters to you where know, you played with them? They're they're uh, inspired by, let's put. Um, but yeah, again, we've been doing it with Robot Chicken, with Star Wars. You know, we've done it with DC Comics, and then we started talking. And we said we should do our own, you know, original characters and versions of, of things that we know. And so it's just twisting something that we know, ninety degrees on the side, and that's that's been the fun of it. Nice. Now it's got a pretty amazing cast. How did you rope, you know, Brian Cranston and Jillian Bell? How'd you how'd did you, do you have pictures of them somewhere, or did you just guys get drunk? He said, I got this idea. We're still kind of, our minds are still boggled, because we kept talking about this Brian Cranston type we were looking for. And then finally we got up the guts to ask him, and he called us back in a couple days and said he loved the script and wanted to come on board and, and, and produce it with us. It yeah, was great. Yeah, I mean, that was the thing, that was the biggest part, the biggest flatter moment was when he said, you know, he did want to produce this with us. He didn't just want to star in this thing. So we've been working with him, and he's, you know, giving, he's working with us on the scripts and the, the, the production and every aspect of it. So he's been great. Thanks. Thanks for dressing up, David. Yeah, you know, I, I, put, on, I put on my geeky best, yeah. just, just for you guys. San Francisco giant hat, though. 
I got a problem with that. What's your What's your team? Uh, Los Angeles Dodgers. All right. The ones that are in first place. So, so I'm with Jillian <laughs> Bell <place>. here. <laughs> first place. Ouch. All right. That's true. It does hurt. Yeah. But uh, you guys, Jillian Bell, Brian Cranston, big stars for uh, Super Mansion. Yes. Now, what was your first impression when you read the script? Can you describe your characters? And what was it like the first time you saw your characters fleshed out? <laughs> Well, um, in, in animation, it didn't really work that way where you, re you responded to a script. It was, it was like we have a concept, here's the idea, here's the character we're thinking for you, are you interested, and talk a little bit more about that. And you go, yeah, that sounds kind of cool. And, and so the description was, you know, this, all these superheroes, some past their prime, still trying to hold on to their dignity in some pretense. Uh, but they have to also deal with the normal, every day-to-day -day life issues that we have to deal with. Going shopping, doing the laundry, you know, fixing your car's transmission or whatever. So there's all kinds of things that they have to deal with. And we thought that that was a very funny combination to have these superheroes with superpowers still fighting villains, and yet they have to deal with all this mundane stuff. It's fun. Yeah. What was it like the first time you saw your character? Oh, I flipped out. I had never seen uh, like the little clay. What do you call them? Like a yeah, little, little clay nation. people. Yeah. I like to call them clay little people. Clay Listen, people. little clay people. <laughs> when I saw my little clay person, I was very excited. I had no idea what she looked like, and I had already recorded some, and so I was. I had n nothing in my mind of what she was except for what was sort of on the page and what we were creating in the booth. And uh, she's a badass. Can I say? You can say bad. bad? Is that okay? You can, say, you can say ass, but not bad. Bad's, we'll believe yeah. that. Don't okay. worry. We'll, we'll fix it. Bad, 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 bad. What's the name of your character? Uh, I am Lex, and he's Titanium Rex, and I play his daughter. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I don't want to keep you here too long, but at Geek Legacy, we're all about embracing our inner geek, what we geek out about. So we like to end each interview with looking in the camera, saying your name. Hi, I'm Brian Cranston, and I'm a geek. Oh, great. Hi, I'm Brian Cranston, and I'm a geek. Awesome. Can you do Jillian as well? Hi, I'm Jillian Bell, and I'm a geek. You just have a bunch of weed in your purse? Yeah. Doesn't everybody? We're on a plane full of geeks and porn stars. I'd say anything is possible. Except you getting laid. <laughs>